How to Interpret Disproportionality and Disparity Indexes, OIAA Research and Evaluation, December 2020. Why interpret disproportionality and disparity indexes? Eliminating racial disparity is a strategic priority for DCYF. To guide actions toward that, even to know when it's been accomplished, it's necessary to measure and track racial disparity somehow. In any decision that affects outcomes for children, there can be racial disparity in any area, early learning, juvenile rehabilitation, child welfare. The metrics described are useful for all areas of DCYF. For explanatory purposes, this presentation focuses on child welfare. The DCYF Child Welfare Racial Disparity Indices Report includes two related kinds of metrics, disproportionality indexes or indices, disparity indexes, indices. Introduction. Disproportionality and disparity indexes are both reported to Child Protective Services, CPS, for abuse or neglect. Let's imagine that purple is Edward and green is Rhonda. One equals one. One of each equals one. Is this equal? It depends on how you look at it. Imagine that Edward is one of a population of 50. Edward is 0.02 or 2% 2 of the purple population. Rhonda is one of a population of 100. Rhonda is 0.01 or 1% of the green population. 2% is not equal to 1%. Purples and greens are being reported at different rates. Rates can be based upon numbers other than 100 in the denominator. For instance, instead of percentages, rates per 100, we can use rates per thousand. This is especially useful for comparing to the general population of a state. For example, Edward and 499 others reported, 500 total, are part of 50,000 purple kids aged zero through 17 in the state. That's a rate of 10 per thousand purple kids. Whereas Rhonda and 499 others reported, also 500 total, are part of 100,000 green kids aged zero through 17 in the state. That's rate of five per thousand green kids. How can we understand the two rates with a single number? One way to understand the difference is by comparing the two rates. We do this by looking at the ratio of the rates, one divided by the other. The rate to be compared is on the top, the numerator, and the rate of the reference group is on the bottom, the denominator. The result is known as a disproportionality index or relative rate. The disproportionality index is a measure of disparity. The groups have different rates. In this example, purples are disproportionately reported at twice, two times, the rate of greens. What is the reference value of the DI, meaning no disparity? If greens and purples were reported at the same rate, say 1% and 1%, the DI would be equal to 1% divided by 1% equals one. A DI of one indicates no disproportionality of purples relative to greens in this instance. The number one is the reference disproportionality index, no disparity. Greens are the reference group because we want to know if there is racial disparity of purple kids relative to greens. In reality, whites usually are the reference group because the concern with lack of equity is that people of color are unfairly treated relative to whites. How are disproportionality indexes less than one interpreted? In this example, the rates are reversed. You can find the reciprocal and then interpret it in the same way. Purples are disproportionately reported at half, one half the rates of greens. The reciprocal flips the numerator and the denominator. The original 0 0.005 divided by 0 0.01. Its reciprocal is 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.005. The reciprocal disproportionality index equals two. Correspondingly, greens are disproportionately reported at twice, two times the rate of purples. We move now to some examples of actual numbers from Washington State. Let's look first at just a comparison of rates in 2018. 
Example one, intake rates per thousand and percent of black and white kids, 2018 Washington State CPS. Regarding intakes per thousand, there were about 78 black kids and about 50 white kids reported per thousand. Alternatively, per hundred, that corresponds to rates of about 8% and 5%. Either way, there is a ratio of about 1.6. That's the disproportionality index, or DI. The DI means black kids were reported to CPS about 60% more than white kids, over half again as much, in 2018. Example two, multi-year trend lines of rates per thousand and DI of CPS intakes, two groups, 2018 Washington State CPS. Black and white rates per thousand from 2012 through 2018. Black and white DIs 2012 through 2018. The two rates we looked at before, 78.16 black and 49.16, 67 white show up in this graph above the year 2018. Similarly, the DI of the previous slide, 1.57 for black kids, here also is above the year 2018. The DI for white is a constant 1.0. Looking at more race ethnicity categories complicates the picture, but the basic ideas are the same. An index value of less than one indicates that a given group generally is doing better than whites in terms of that metric. Example three, multi-year trend lines of rates per thousand and DI of CPS intakes, multiple groups, 2018 Washington State CPS. Full set of race ethnicity rates per thousand, 2012 through 2018. The black and white rates are the same as on the previous slide, as are the black and white DI. Full set of disproportionality indices, DI, 2012 through 2018. The rates of intakes and corresponding DI are highest through the years for American Indian Alaska Natives and are lowest for Asian Pacific Islanders. Are there other forms of disparity indexes? Yes, it all depends on what is in the denominator of the rate and is the number of kids in a certain situation. Disproportionality index, DI, and could be the number of kids reported to CPS. Disparity index after intake, DI, AI, and could be the number of kids screened in at intake. Disparity index after placement, DI, AP, and could be the number of kids remaining in foster care for more than two years. Regardless of what's in the denominators of the rates, all of the indexes are interpreted in basically the same way and all of them have the same reference value of 1.0, meaning no disparity. What's an example of a disparity index after intake graph? Example four, screened in intakes, DIAI, 2018 Washington State CPS. Black kids only relative to white kids. Disparity specific to the screening decision is slight for them, less than 10% at most. DIAI equals 1.09 in 2014. A DIAI controls for, that is takes out, the disproportionality present at intake. Disparity specific to the screening decision is slight overall as well, less than 20% at most. DIAI equals 1.19 maximum in 2014. What's an example of a disparity index after placement graph? Example five, initial mobility, DIAP, 2018 Washington State CPS. Black kids only relative to white kids. The DIAP trend line is more volatile, that is changeable, than at intake because there are fewer kids fewer placed and also fewer with two or more moves during the first year after placement. A DIAP controls for takes out both the disproportionality present at intake and the disparity present at placement. The increased degree of volatility can be seen even more clearly with this complete graph. Note that some of the DIAP are less than 1.0, indicating inverse disparity meaning that those kids in that year had a lower rate than whites. 
You're on your way to interpreting disproportionality and disparity indexes. Thank you. If you have questions, contact OIAA at dcyf.wa.gov. Additional information may be found in the Washington State DCYF Child Welfare Racial Disparity Indices Report.